Philip Nilsson, Chairman and Executive Creative Director di Forsman and Bodenforce, è l'uomo eh, del Crystal Awards 2011, in quanto con la sua agenzia ha conquistato due eh, Grand Prix e altri numerosi premi. Sono due soprattutto le campagne con cui ha trionfato, parliamo di IKEA e Reebok. E chiediamo qual è appunto il motivo secondo lui per cui eh, queste due campagne hanno avuto questo trionfo. I think a lot of people in the jury afterwards they 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 told me why they liked the stuff and I think I think they liked the simplicity of it. I think I think today in digital I think a lot of a lot of things becomes really complicated and there are so many channels and everything should be 360 and it becomes more about different channels and and some kind of media strategy rather than finding one strong idea that could lead you through everything so i think we tr we try to as far as possible we try to look away from from kind of ch channels and i think it's a lot of the time it makes things too technical and i think we try to look for a really simple human insight and uh, and then find an idea so i think for rebook the simple insight that everything is built upon is If you make, if you promise to do something in public, uh, that's um, that's really strong because I've promised to do that in front of a lot of people, uh, and basically, yeah, then I have to do it. Um, so that's one simple insight. And I think in, in um, uh, when it comes to the um, to the the lullaby campaign with about beds is taking something that exists I think everywhere in all countries is lullabies is kind of that people people sleep to make to make a baby sleep you you sing to them and those are old really old songs something that everybody's familiar with you've grown up with it almost since you were a baby you, you know them they are they're inside people and then taking those sort of old old songs and and having really talented people talented musicians making new versions of them that really kind of uh, really touches people so i think and then if you do that and you, you uh, meanwhile you you try to 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 do that with a lot of love and a lot of craft so making something that is that that is beautiful for real i mean i think a lot of the time we we try to in what we do we try to bring craft into Into, into digital and we think there is no excuse anymore because that all the technology is there you can do anything you like so it's more about making things look fantastic and and uh, doing something that you that we think is beautiful i just wanted to point out three words that that are important to us right now uh, i think um i think energy is is uh, is really important i think uh, It's important for uh, for all companies, agencies and advertisers alike. I think uh, the big in, the big the big the big thing is that you you need to do a lot of things uh, at the same time. You need to start projects without knowing exactly how it's going to end. You have to instead of doing a lot of research before, instead of having all the answers before you start launch something, you need to. To take small steps, modify, improve, take another step, modify, improve, and uh, I think for a lot of companies, especially big companies, I think the change from working on a sort of sequentially, you know, doing one thing, evaluating, then doing another thing, uh, moving into this much more complex reality is a, is a, is a struggle, really. Uh, Puoi spiegarci come è cambiata la relazione tra clienti e agenzie in questi ultimi anni? I'm not sure exactly how it's um, how it's uh, Has, how is how, how it is changing i think i think there's so i think we have a privilege working with really really uh, most of our clients i think are really visionary people who kind of really try to embrace this whole new development um i think uh, in general i think that we have in sweden we have a culture where there's sort of the relationship between the agency and the client is built on on a true partnership a lot of respect Uh, and I think that sort of in the end that leads to that type of clients usually get much more out of the agency, much more loyalty, but also sort of um, a lot more um, that, that kind of partnership and, and, and uh, loyalty. I think they, they can use the agency on a much bigger surface. You know, we can 
I think we can contribute in not only in advertising but sort of fueling the the whole discussion inside the company. Um, so I think that, that's good. I think it's we, today we work more and more on on an international level. I think in some markets it's uh, it's uh, it's a little bit more difficult. But it's always up to the the individual and individual relation. I think it's hard to have like a, a general opinion about relationships between clients and and um, uh, agencies. But I think one thing you can say is that our, our kind of our reality, our daily reality, is becoming more and more complex. That's for sure. So I think uh, the need for for partnership is is uh, is bigger than ever. I think. Parliamo di remunerazione. È un aspetto sulla quale la vostra agenzia tiene duro, per così dire, oppure si adatta alle regole del mercato dove anche la leva del prezzo è importante per acquisire un cliente? I think we are we are we, we've been lucky because we're I mean we are not a really big agency compared to our international competitors we were like only 130 people so uh, we haven't been forced to kind of or desperate about getting new clients we we've sort of so I think we've been able to to defend and get get paid reasonably for what we do uh, but I, I think in general I think there is there is a pressure on the market and I think I think uh, i think more and more clients they 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 buy they they get they keep more and more of the the brand thinking inside the strategy inside the company and they buy uh, tend to buy campaigns so it's sort of things are moving in house and they they kind of buy campaigns and of course if you if you have a number of agencies pitching for doing like one campaign uh it's easier to 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 put pressure on the price but i'm not sure it's um i think there's a way of doing things that could easily backfire and um so i don't think it's it's I, th i don't think that change is going to be dramatic but it's um it's putting pressure on the market and i also think that more and more clients are bringing um bringing uh, like professional buyers into the process using basically the same people who buy steel and <laughs> and nolts and uh and sort of other type of supplies and they, they they're bringing that type of people into the process um and of course that's another thing that could put pressure on price